everybody. So before we end the school year this year, I wanted to give you, um, send you off with a few musical things that you can do this summer. One would be a dance party. My family and I, we actually do this every day. We love turning on Pandora and finding like the Disney station or the kids station and just dancing around to some music. It doesn't have to be for very long, but it always helps to brighten our spirits and I know it will brighten yours as well. You can also listen to music. Now remember that music can really change your mood. So if you are feeling blue or you can't get outside because it's raining, turn on some peppy music and it will definitely brighten your day. It'll put a smile on your face. Just make sure you find some music that makes you smile and um, gets you really excited and uh, pumped up about the day. You can also learn a new song. So you can just find a song on the radio or on the internet and just listen to it over and over again until you learn it. You can also look up the lyrics, the words online to help you learn as well. Um, there are YouTube videos that teach you songs as well. So you can just make it a point to try to learn a new song maybe every other week or every week or once a month. That would be a really good thing to do over the summer. You could also make a musical instrument. There are lots of do-it-yourself videos and um, tutorials out there about how to make instruments out of recycled materials, but you could also just look around your house and find things that you could put together um, or use to make a musical instrument. And lastly, if you are one of my fourth and fifth grade students, you can be practicing your music over the summer. Anything in your folder would do, but definitely your music book would be a really good thing for you to practice. Um, don't be afraid about learning new notes because all the notes are in there. Every time it shows you a new note, it gives you the fingering so that you know what to do, but also the back of the book shows you all the fingerings as well. And if you feel like you need a little bit of extra help, you can always look it up on YouTube. It's always a great resource. Um, for learning things about your instrument. So those are just a couple of things that you could do over the summer to stay musical and active and keep you busy. And um, thank you so much for being patient with us, with all the teachers as we learned this um, new way of teaching from home. And thank you so much for all of your work learning um, how to do your schoolwork from home as well. So thanks again, and I will see you next year.